There's some games coming out this year and I'm ready for them. Games I am most excited for for 2015. Let's see, uh, the first one, probably the one I'm most excited for would have to be No Man's Sky. Uh, it's an indie game that's coming out on the PS4 um, and then hopefully on the PC later. Um, I'm not a huge PS4 fan, but that game is definitely one I'm going to pick up a console for. I'm really looking forward to Evolve. It is a 4v1 online game where it pits you and four other friends against each other. There's four people on one team and you're playing humans with various different classes, you know, like you always do in uh, online games. But the twist on this one is one of the players gets to be the monster. And this monster is kind of like a Godzilla kaiju kind of thing. <laughs> Runs around, eats livestock, goats, and this continues to evolve into this big massive creature and unlock special powers. <laughs> and it just looks super satisfying. After seeing Uncharted 4 at the PlayStation Experience, I was incredibly hyped. It looked so good. It's a lot to take in, kid. Where do I even start? Uh, it, it just looks so much more action-based. Uh, very, very cinematic. Damn it. <sighs> Great. All right, everyone. Pulse alarm. But keep an eye out. And the gang's all here. Let's go. Even for just a demo, like it ran so impressive. Naughty Dog, I would argue, is basically the best developer in the world right now. And I, Uncharted 4, I'm so very excited to get back into that experience, uh, see where Nathan Drake is going, and see if this is his final game. I don't know. Stop what you're doing right now. Get on YouTube. Look up the 2014 E3 trailer for The Division. Tom Clancy's The Division. I am a graphics horror. This game looks incredible. <laughs> No, baby. Post apocalyptic New York, everything's going crazy. Man versus man, it's on. <laughs> this game looks insane. It looks like destiny, but like New York, but like it's gorgeous and, and an inventory, and then you can you can control a drone with your tablet and just I'm so excited for this game to come out. I'm really looking forward to Witcher 3. It's the Wild Hunt. I mean, I've played all these games through the series so far. Geralt of Rivia is just a total badass character. If I'm to choose between one evil and another, I'd rather not choose at all. Just make it quick, Geralt. He's, he's great. The storyline's been great. It's gonna be the conclusion to the trilogy. I think it's a trilogy, but we're finally gonna figure out what happens to his love that we've been tracking down for this entire series. And it's just gonna be awesome. Batman Arkham Knight is supposed to come out in 2015 and I'm so excited for it. That series has been absolutely incredible from start to finish. I can't wait for Rocksteady to be back in the helm of the franchise. Even though Origins was still really, really fun, I'm excited to see Rocksteady back. The Batmobile, I'm a little skeptical on, but it still looks incredible. Uh, getting back to an open world experience, it just it looks so visually uh, visceral and, and just brutal. Star Wars Battlefront, it's finally back. and DICE is making it. They make the Battlefield games. Uh, they obviously know what they're doing. I don't want to do it with my hands. Um, it's, it's gonna be so good. I, I hope it's gonna be so good. Um, it's, I'm glad Disney take, has taken over Star Wars. They're finally putting out games we want to see again. I've wanted a Battlefront 3 since Battlefront 2 came out, and that's been a long time. 